comparing biofuels or when we think about developing biofuel systems, we want to determine whether those biofuel systems are more harmful for the environment or, or less harmful than our existing fossil fuel systems. So specifically, my research is looking at the greenhouse gas balance or the climate change implications of producing biofuels relative to using fossil fuels. And that's specifically what I do and why that is important is because there are new state and federal greenhouse gas regulations on biofuels. So the state of California currently imports a lot of its ethanol from the Corn Belt state, states and Nebraska exports about a billion dollars worth of ethanol to California every year. That's a third of our ethanol production. So a third of our ethanol production in Nebraska is subject to the calculations of the footprint that are done in California to enable our ethanol to be imported into that state. And currently there are lots of disagreements about how we do those calculations and what are those values and what are the uncertainties and what are the issues in, in making those calculations. And so that's a pretty big deal because a third of our exports go to California, it's a billion dollars. In 2009, the Nebraska um, biofuel industry generated about $3.5 billion in sales. So in, in the same time, it created about, it's created about 1,300 high paying jobs over the last 10 years. So high, pay, high paying jobs in Nebraska as well as bringing in this additional revenue as well as increasing the corn market. So overall, agricultural commodities in Nebraska are about $9 billion in sales. So corn alone in Nebraska is about $5 billion annually. So depending on the price of corn, those sale prices can go up. So we're talking billions of dollars in increased revenue for Nebraska farmers, which then increases state taxes as well and state tax revenue. And so state tax revenue then goes to pay for, for roads and schools and jobs for lots of people.